Hi there, Yang here. Um, today a quick overview of the progress of our uh, Catwood City game we are trying to build. So let's dive into it. Um, I'm gonna launch. Okay, let it do, let it do. Still on the slow side. Okay. Steam integration uh, you see here. So this is the the first window you you will uh, get to when you launch uh, the game for the first time. Then you will be forced to select the avatar. We have some. Uh, this is not. But it's only the functionality I'm testing. Um, so you need to fill in your name. Then I set it to fill in the year of uh, birth when you are born. Then your gender. Then we're gonna write gamers united is the clan. We can fill in our clan tag. Then we hit the save button, then it's saving and our um, user profile is generated in the sense of only your user. Okay. Then we're going to go to the characters. This is the default. Um, then these are all the selectable characters. Uh, we have male and female. So this is. Now I'm gonna just take my character. Once I have my character, then I will be also able to go to another screen to do some modifications. This is not done yet, but uh, the idea behind this uh, to to switch body elements, the head, uh, the upper body, the head. I need to see, but the upper body, the lower body, the hands, the the hair, and the feet. Okay, and then you can once you do that, you hit the accept button. So okay, then I'm gonna select a map. I'm gonna take the the other one. Um, so what I was doing f now is, is changing all text into images. So that's why this one doesn't have it for the moment. So I'm going to take this one. Then once you completed all the steps, you're able to accept. And then you can go to the multiplayer or the single player. Multiplayer is not functioning yet. But single player. First time you will be spawned randomly on the map uh, as your selected character. Um, the character has an inventory, uh, equipment uh, system that is just migrated. It's not configured. That's why you see the default. Okay. Then we go over here. Then go stand like that, look at the sun. I press the escape button for coming into the in-game option menu where you can just resume the game, go to the options, go to the character uh, selection menu uh, and then you can quit the game. But before this window comes, it will store the location, your current location on the map. So if you're going to test this, we're going to just quit and relaunch the single player. You see, he's launching uh, the character on the last known position. This is also will be also be used uh, when you die. So the idea I got is is to spawn a skeleton that stays on the ground where the player or other players can walk up to and and, and collect uh, the items 
that is on the the dead body, uh, for example. That is the ID behind it. Uh, so I'm gonna quit. I go back to the options. So um, I want to have another character, for example. And I want to have another map. Uh, then we accept. We go back to our single player for the first time. Normally, he will be also choosing a random location again on this map. Uh, where is my tent? There is my tent. There's nothing. Eh? This is really just terrain with some some trees. Eh? This is not how it's gonna gonna look. Eh? I'm still looking into yeah finding the correct uh, landscape uh, material so okay we're gonna do like this then again or inside saving the location quit the game so normally on this map now when we launch it for the second time we will be Right. Well, so he's spawning on the on the correct position. Yeah, and like I say, there's nothing much. I'm just doing some some test, like like water surface, for example. You know, you're not well, yeah, at the moment. You cannot swim. So there's no functionality done on the character. It's really uh, importing uh, assets, uh, migrating systems, uh, so like, like uh, the inventory system, and then looking at how, how like you already see that 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 for this simple thing you you have some elements that are not really working like they should. Um, this goes back to here. That is the wrong window. So now he goes to this. So he needs to go to this one. So that are the things I I I need to do. But I also notice something when we go back to the modify window. There's light coming to my characters. So basically. That is something I don't want. I need to figure out. Uh, but yeah, then like here, it will then display your uh, uh, full name. If you select it, I want to have the clan tag. Then the clan tag will be in front of it, uh, with then your name entered. So those things uh, need to be be adjusted uh, but yeah I, I work step by step um, to give you an ID this is the main widget so like like you come in the main widget then the map so like now you see I'm, I'm modifying it so that it's it's loading like like here is the map so this is why you don't see it. Um, there's nothing set here. I just gave it a, a simple red color to 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 see visual, um, and then map name. So hold on. Huh? Um, well, when I save it now, and when when we go back in the game, you will. We will show the the correct names, and then here, only not the correct name because it's it's the second world, not uh, world one. But this is how I build it now to 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 have like passports uh, for for everything. Like like this is then the the map for the map. That is the map, and then. Hold on, I'm gonna drag this aside again, otherwise. That is the map, that is the player. So that is the player passport. Then I have the same for the character, that is this one. 
and on the main um, the main that is that one the player uh, menu that is this one it's just a collection of those elements also what I want is like you see when I'm I, when I'm in game in the in-game menu I launch the other character uh, window where you can modify it but I only want the character widget uh, to display because yeah you just need to toggle between the character and then maybe lock lock the modify from from in game LA I, I I need to brainstorm that a little bit but yeah it it it's it's a hell of LA it, it, it's a lot of work just to have all the functionality and the buttons uh, correctly done so we're gonna test it one more time so now we have a safe game so it's the second time now that we're going to launch then I go back to my options what do he remember he remember the name the age but he's not displaying my clan name or my clan tech anymore then normally what we changed by going in that data table so now we will display again main world normally yeah you see that is that red image that is showing and, and this is how you can 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 then do it like the moment you have like like these are all the levels like like main world main world too but these are the placeholders for the moment once I'm going to really start the levels for example and then start creating all the levels inside here then I will take the map info and then I will start creating all the correct uh, information uh, of the map <coughs> because I want this image to be a thumbnail of the overall map that will be um, hold on a second I need to add this one back I need to add this one back voila that we're gonna expand that blah 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 that is good so take this one so that loads easier then single player okay so now we have the player hot with with uh, the inventory and, and, and those things but there will be I don't know maybe here or there uh, the mini map displaying here and then when for example you press a, a certain key you will be having a widget that is displaying the complete uh, map uh, of the of the current level and uh, hold on, we don't need this anymore quit quit and that will be then displayed here that is the ID and then like summer and the time map time there is for the moment already a timing system in it a day and night system uh, in it uh, what I did with that is in let me quickly check not in this one it will be in this one. No, where did I put it? 
where did I put it? This is the time of day, day time. Yes, 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 yes. It's it's here. But I launch it from the other game mode. I launch it from the other game mode, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I do it from here. Yep. So even it's already got uh, a sun positioning and a, and a day and night cycle uh, in it. For the moment, what I'm doing is using um, the current system time and I subtract 500 years from it so you are basically um, hold on I need to quickly check something eh? keep track of what connected player da 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 time of day that's that one eh? mm -hmm. yeah but yeah, that is not what I'm focusing on, so uh, no, that is uh, what we got until now. You see it's already a complete, this is only blueprints, and the interfaces, and I also build a library to make it some, you see, update sun position. That automatically keeps track of our day, ah here it is here now, so now represent today the current date and time, then hold on, eh? I can also work with latitudes if I want, but that is, is also not configured, and then here it's just updating the current time, so in the you will update and then that comes from the game instance update current time then we go over here you will set the year everything and this is how I'm gonna build it because I want to have the time everywhere the same so <coughs> I'm gonna also make it possible that you can maybe start from your own timing but for now I'm just want to have it uh, uh, like this funny part is like uh, what is it uh, at the moment almost six o'clock in the evening so if we now play the game it will be like 6 o'clock uh, in the evening if you play pff, 10 o'clock in the evening you will be seeing the star so that is all I'm did. I find it a, a nice thing to have uh, in the game but also again can be uh, expanded uh, but Thanks for watching and uh, I will see you next time. Bye bye.